You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. This is Susan Schlichting with K-State Research and Extension and Extras from the Extension. Today we are out and in Ellis, Kansas doing a basic rocketry class. It's something we've done for about the last 10 years here, um, working with young kids to get them excited and inspire them um, to do careers potentially down the road in science and math related fields. And today I'm really pleased to have with me Ethan Honus, who's a recent grad from Ellis uh, High School. Ethan, will you tell us a little bit about how you got started in the rocketry project? Uh, I was one of the, I was in the beginner class and advanced class that Steve offers at the Ellis Library. And I thought it was pretty neat at what was happening. You got to do something that was, I mean, out here in Ellis, you, there's just farming really. Something different, something with a lot of science, something that you could see your work put into and work. It's always exciting to see those rockets launch, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so you went through the beginning class, and then Steve, the, the following year, invited kids who had taken the beginning class and invited them to come and take a more advanced class and to stretch their skills even further. And you had that opportunity as well. Um, what did that mean to you to, to take something a little more advanced and a little more interesting? It was hard, but if you worked through it, you could see that your work paid off to something neat something cool, something different, not everyone could do. Okay, okay, and we're excited. Um, in fact, I was telling Ethan ahead of this that I'd gotten a text this winter from Steve. He was so excited when he learned the news about what Ethan's future a career path is. Can you tell us what you're thinking about uh, studying as you go off to college? Um, at WSU, I'm going into aerospace engineering that they offer there. That's an exciting thing. Um, we hope that as we teach these classes, we can inspire young people to think about those options. And wh what do you ultimately like to see yourself doing with that, des that degree? Uh, working for one of the big rocket companies, NASA or SpaceX. Okay. There are lots of opportunities out there, aren't there? And mm. Lots of exciting things going on right now in the whole rocketry world. I uh, was in a meeting the other day and, and saw a picture or video of SpaceX landing a rocket yeah. on a, a platform and, and that's just, they've made leaps and bounds of, of improvements. And Can you tell us a little bit about the kinds of um, high school courses you might have taken in order to help you to be prepared to go into this kind of a field and, and study in college? Uh, I took a lot of science and math classes. I took the one extra, the calculus and physics just because even though they don't offer them as college credit, I thought it would help me in my road ahead. Oh, absolutely. Abs the more science and math you can have, um, the better prepared you'll be for the challenges ahead. So we wish you much success in your career path, and we hope that you'll come back and visit our rocket classes um, as you uh, progress through that and bring the resources that you're seeing there and share them with our students and get them inspired to... Um, do great things in this kind of a, a path as well. So thank you very much for taking time to visit with us. All right, we are back now with Steve Arthur, who is the director of the Ellis Public Library. And he has been a partner of ours with Extension and 4-H for a number of years as we've developed rocket and robot and other kinds of creative programs for youth in the Ellis community. Uh, Steve, can you tell us a little bit about how you got started in all of this and, and uh, how you share that with the kids? Um, actually, I started building rockets back in the, when rocketry was still in its golden age back in the 70s. Um, and then when you came along and, and you wanted to do rocketry, it was a perfect opportunity for me to get back into it. Um, we did the basic rocketry and then it, we had all these kids that were doing so well, we opened up an advanced class. And so it became really interesting because for, what, five years? We had kids that it became a rite of passage because all these siblings wanted to follow their their older sisters and brothers into it, and then so we had these little dynasties that actually grew out of it. Yeah. Yeah. When we do the rocketry classes, we typically have some kind of a theme. Uh, maybe it's the International Space Station. This year it happens to be Mars is our theme. Um, so we weave some of the, the information about what's going on in those research and and exploration projects and uh, weave that in with rocket building and so we actually build rockets and uh, 
they get to launch them ultimately as part of the program, but there's also some other theme to it each year. And, and so this year we're doing Mars as a theme, and you see that behind us a, a Mars city, a Mars landscape here. You wanna to talk to us a little bit about what this is and how this is gonna be part of this program this week. Actually, we, it was a project that I started for St. Mary's. Um, they were my guinea pigs. And we, um, we have these Tetrix robots. We, this was something we started a year ago. And so I wanted to have something that we could do with the robots that all the kids could do just rather than trying to build and design stuff. So this is set up like a Mars rover. So as you can see, we have a webcam mounted on it. And then we have an Arduino Yoon that actually feeds the, the video feed it through the Yoon that acts as its own Wi-Fi connection and then sends it through the internet. And we set it up with a delay, just like Mars, there's a 13 minute signal delay, except ours is not 13 minutes, it's actually a second and a half. Initially we had it set up for four seconds, but that was really, really hard. We couldn't even do it on four seconds. So, so the purpose is, is that they will negotiate this terrain, which is a stylized Mars terrain, and there's objects that they have to um, pick up and then return back to their starting point, and it's timed. So each team has its own separate mission, and they have to find these objects, bring them back. Um, when we did it, only one team actually came pretty close to finishing, and they dropped their object within a foot and a half of the finish line and couldn't get it picked back up so they didn't they didn't manage it either so what, what kinds of skills do you think kids are getting from uh, this kind of an experience when we did it with st mary's what we found was the skills that they it was more of an appreciation because they they thought that it was going to be easy and and so it's set up not to be easy and they and they gained an appreciation for the people who actually do run rovers and, and all of the, the issues that they face. And, and so it had real world application and they all said it was really hard, but they had fun. And they're ready to do it again. They're ready. I got one back there right now that's just itching to get back onto this. So this will be one of the wrap up activities that we do at the end of our, our series here in, at the Ellis Library. And, um, what other kinds of things are coming up that, that might be something people would like to get involved in if it's science? Well, we, we always have all of, our, all of our maker programs, especially this summer, will be all STEM and STEAM related. So um, it, it covers the whole spectrum. We're doing dinosaurs up to um, pro writing code for processors like this. And we'll do the robotics. This will be one of the things that will be featured again over the summer is that kids can come in and they can try to go through the course and pick things up and do stuff. Um, of course, rocketry and, um, oh, I'm, and 3D printing. We have 3D printing, so I'm going to teach CAD and stuff like that. So we'll have, it'll, and everything, I try and do everything so it all dovetails together so that it just, it's a process of building. And I think we've tried to do that with our, our rocketry classes as well so that those things build on each other and and we can bring kids along and, and raise their level of skill each time they participate and, and challenge them yeah um, so if you're looking for places for your kids to go and, and do some creative science um, activities this summer come by or, or call the Ellis Public Library and check out the kinds of neat things that are going on with their maker space here um, we appreciate being able to partner with you and and I think it's just with seeing Ethan and and his interest in heading towards those kinds of careers, They're, we're inspiring kids and, and hopefully encouraging them to do some science and math related uh, careers down the road. We know that there's going to be a great shortage of, of uh, science related uh, folks out there and so it's a good niche for our kids. Right and hopefully I'll be, I'm looking at maybe taking this to the Ellis County Fair so not only kids can try this but adults can try it out and then, you know, maybe get an appreciation for what we do. Absolutely. Well, thank you for taking time to come and visit a little bit about the awesome things that are happening here at the Ellis Public Library. And, and thank you for partnering with us on uh, these exciting programs it's for It's always youth. fun. It's always it fun. Is. It's always an adventure, right? It is. <laughs> well, this has been Susan Schlichting with K-State Research and Extension and Extras from the Extension. You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. <laughs>